Okay, hey guys, this is, everyone's still having a problem getting this up and running at times. Um, if you're out there on YouTube land, this video is intended for the people in our Among Us community Discord channel. It might help you out if you're having problems um, trying to auto host with the Among Us uh, auto mute Discord bot yourself. But we're just gonna run through really, really quickly how it's set up in our Discord so that our community members can get games up and running them themselves so they don't need other people to come in and do it for them. Um, the host issue, the host bit is the, is the problem everyone's having. So I'm just gonna run through it really, really quickly. In our Discord, all our host instructions are obviously under the host instruction section. People are having issues going through and um, doing this step by step. I think especially people with one monitor. So we're just gonna walk through really, really quickly um, to make sure you know how to do it. The first thing, you have to be in live game chat. Um, you can be muted like I am or deafened on, on both at the moment, but you at least have to be in there. So the first thing we're gonna go to go and go and do is we're gonna go to the wait here channel, which is this one here, and we're gonna type uh, slash new. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna type slash new. Now, rather than hitting enter, we're gonna go and select the command that we need, which is the auto mute us one. We're gonna hit enter there. This is gonna bring up the first section we need to do. This is where everyone's having issues. If you don't have the capture installed, the latest version here, you need to click on it. We're gonna be taken away from Discord and we're gonna go and get a uh, Among Us capture.zip. So you can just click on this, left click. We're gonna left click on capture. Now, don't double click this guys, just click it so it's highlighted, go to extract all. Uh, Windows 11 users particularly have to do it this way. Uh, go to extract all, just let it go to default and extract it. You'll find that it comes up really, really quickly. Before you do anything here, right click on it, go down to send to and go to desktop create shortcut. And that way you'll at least get a shortcut. You'll know where it is. If you want to put it in start menu or you want to put it somewhere else, at least you've got some reference for where it is on your computer now. You can go to properties, you can go in and, and find out where it's actually, the actual file is. Um, so yeah, do that first. Make sure you've got a shortcut somewhere that's easy to access. We'll close all that down. We'll bring it up with our Among Us um, icon as well. We're not gonna load Among Us if we're hosting. If we're hosting, we're gonna, lo we're gonna load the shortcut. If you're just gonna play and someone else is hosting, then you'd normally do it the normal way you come into the game that way. But at this instance, we're going to um, load up the, the shortcut and Jump into the game. So as you see, I'll double click on this. Uh, Windows is gonna go, it's not gonna have a tantrum. Windows does this for a reason. Uh, we're just gonna run it anyway. You'll see a mute, uh, auto mute has come up. Here is the capture starting to run. So like I said, you don't need to run it from among us. The bot itself is gonna run the game for you. So we're gonna click on the little rocket ship here and that's gonna get the game up and running. I'm gonna have the game windowed so that we can all see what's going on over in Discord. So the first thing you might see, as you can see here in Discord at the moment, it's not changed anything. So now that I've got the bot running and Among Us up and loaded, and I can go and change obviously uh, the graphic settings in a minute or two to show you guys, we'll get it back to full screen. Uh, back over in Discord land, I'm going to actually go back to where we are in wait here and I'm going to go backslash end. Um, again, I'm going to let the command pop up. I'm not going to hit enter in the line. I'm going to select the command and then I'm going to hit enter. If you ever find that the bot's not running for you, just go back into that section and type end. Someone may not have cleared out the last section, so the bot's actually still running. Uh, so it's important just to double check that it is slash end has been run. So um, I'll leave these there so that we can all see them. We're gonna create another new one. So slash new, I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna hit enter then. It's gonna get it up and running. We have a game here, we're gonna to go to online. We are trying to host the game, so we're gonna go create as host. Um, you can change all this as you feel free. Confirm that so you can see I'm in the lobby now. I can run around. I'm doing all my things. Nothing has changed Over here in the discord You can all see that's happening. So what we'll do over here in discord now we're going to click on the following link the AU capture link we're gonna click on that 
go back to game and there you go now you can see that this auto mutus has just changed uh, the room code hasn't come up but if I decide to then go out of here and load it again the room code should come back this is a little bit of a glitchy thing with the bot uh, what we normally do is copy the code and then obviously go down here paste it in here then everyone knows what the code is for that round if you're in streamer mode it definitely won't come up um, it'll come up with asterisks if it has an issue trying to grab it it'll come up with question marks there's no big drama just putting it down the bottom but essentially now that we've got um, myself locked any other players coming in to the to the lobby once they've come in and they've come and chosen their color that they want to be they've chosen their outfit that they want to be and all this jazz are all sorted up in game they need to come back to discord hit the drop down menu and make sure that they're assigning themselves in the discord the same color that their character is in the game if you change your character in the game mid say you play you play five games and you, you've gone or someone else comes in and they go hey hey fry i want to be orange and you go yeah no worries man i'll go i'll go gray you need to come back to discord and go right i am now gray and select it that simple and that way it's successfully linking me to the game color gray guys that's pretty much that's pretty much it i think the biggest issue people were having was that you need to get the capture installed you need to run the, the zip file and extract all let it go to that default spot um, get yourself the shortcut so make, make sure you stop at the point where the short that where the shortcut is loaded and then right click on it go to um, send it to desktop as a, a shortcut Bob's your uncle you're done everyone can play it so guys I'm gonna post this up on the discord so you all know it will be in the host instruction I'm gonna put it in the very very top and anyone out there in YouTube land if you've had problems with this before I hope this video helps this is not intended for people to learn how to bring the bot over to their discord if you guys want to learn how to do that uh, leave some comments below uh, smash the likes if we get up to a thousand likes I'll do it anyway but leave a comment down below and um, I'm sure we can get a video of that done it's very very simple not a very difficult process. This is the one the community's been having issues with, so I thought we'd make this one first. Guys, hope you have a great day. We will catch you next time. We're having a community night on our Discord auto mute server. Take care, see yous. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Love you guys, bye bye.